Hi guys, just a brief overview of what we'll be covering today. So firstly we have uh, beta m, the moment ratio, and then the moment versus curvature graph, uh, followed by the effective section modulus graph. So firstly beta m, what is it? Uh, so basically it's a moment ratio, and it's a concept that will make more sense and reappear in flexural torsional buckling. Um, and basically the moment ratio is uh, se separated into single curvature and double curvature. I have an example here to illustrate what I mean. So uh, what we can see in this sort of frame and beam uh, combination is that uh, when some force is applied to it, in blue there's a deformed shape. And what we can see is there's a bit of hogging at the top and it's sagging. That's for the beam. And we can see here on the, uh, for the column that it is sort of sagging. And what we call this is double curvature for the beam because we have hogging and sagging and for the frame itself we just see sagging and we would call this single curvature. Now beta m, the important thing to remember of this uh, about this is it's the ratio of the smaller to bigger moments and you want to look at the end moment ratios. That's Th these two rules are critical to the calculation of beta m. So right here I've just got an example for you guys. So example one, we've got two moment ratios, 130, and because it's just, um, as we saw for the sort of uh,